Okay, so this is how to make a trifold duct tape wallet. And first what I'm doing is cutting out two strips that are 8 and 1 fourth inches long. And I stack them on top of each other to be 3 and 3 fourths inches uh, tall. So now I'm just getting, this is the inside billfold color. And I'm just going to put that on top of the sticky side of the paint splatter. And drop my exacto knife. <laughs> so now just cut off your extras. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the card pockets, and you have to cut eight pieces that are three and three-fourths inches each, and this will give you eight, I mean, four card pockets. I had to get up and let Jenner out. So then you just stack those eight pieces on top of each other, and you, that's when you come out with four. And that's just what I'm doing now. Okay, so now this is the trim. I'm cutting two pieces four inches each, and you cut it in half. And then you just line it up and place a trim on. I have two videos on doing trim. So if you want an in-depth video, I was just replaying my song. If you want an in-depth video on trim, then check out my How to Make a Bifold Wallet, which is called What You've All Been Waiting For. I just cut off the extras because your pockets are three and three-fourths inches, and the trim is four inches. By making the trim larger, it makes it so much easier. So now I'm getting a pre-made ID, which is three and three fourths inches, by two and one fourth. So I cut a piece of duct tape that's two and one fourth, and I just placed it on the ID, and the trim is the same width as the trim on the pockets. So now what I'm here doing here is when you set out the wallet, you'll see the markings two and three fourths and five and one half and you want to put your ID in between those then I'm just taking off the extra and I was just showing you that I didn't cut the um, tape even though I cut the plastic on the tape it's just a cool technique but yeah so now I just put it on make sure it's even and I peel it back up and now I'm getting the billfold color and the I forgot to push down the center don't forget to push down the center so I make another billfold piece and it's eight and one fourth by three and three fourths and put the um, sticky side up, and now I put that sticky on the other sticky. This part's pretty hard. Then I place the sticky back down, and I put on the card pockets. Now I just do the trim, um, make sure it's even. I just cut a piece of tape that's the length of the two card pockets. There's no really specific measurements for it. So now I tuck that one in because that's billfold, and I do the same thing and just push it over on the sticky. So it's like sticky on sticky. And basically now I'm just doing the same thing. So I took the length of the card pockets and cut it in half. And now I'm folding over the sticky side. Here that is and just you know trim it up I don't know what I'm doing there oh I was cutting um, I was cutting the pockets doing some trimming let's flip that over and now we're going to cover up the sticky side so you're going to take two pieces that are nine and one fourth inches I forgot to do it on the other so I just had to add some tape to it so now what you're going to do set down the wallet and then you're going to place the duct tape a half of an inch over the wallet on each side on the very bottom and then on the top one you you line it up with the very top so now I'm just folding over the extra tape um, I do this method on my how to make a bifold wallet so there's a more um, detailed on how to do that that video and then here I'm uh, putting down the ID these are two pieces of tape that are three and three actually it's one piece of tape that's three and three fourths inches long cut it in half and yeah. Okay, so this is the final product um, with your billfold color on the inside. And then it has two pockets on each side. And then a pocket up top here. And if you did it right, it should fold evenly on both sides. And it should be very thin. And very lightweight and it's really easy to move so that's the trifold duct tape wallet and this method is pretty hard so just practice it and you'll get it right so that's it bye